Did you know some vegetables can harm your kidneys? It's a surprising fact given we've always heard that eating our greens is the key to good health. But as with most aspects of life, it's not always so black and white. Our kidneys, vital organs that help filter out waste from our bodies can be affected by certain dietary choices we make. Some of these choices may seem innocent and even beneficial at first glance. Believe it or not, there are certain vegetables often hailed as the epitome of health that can actually have a negative impact on kidney health. Now this doesn't mean you should stop eating vegetables altogether. Far from it. What it does mean is that we need to be more aware of what we're putting into our bodies and how it affects us on a deeper level. In this video, we'll uncover six vegetables that could potentially harm your kidneys. Stay tuned because some of these might just surprise you. First on our list is spinach, a leafy green often associated with good health. Indeed, Popeye wasn't wrong when he chugged down cans of this vibrant veggie to boost his strength. Spinach is packed with nutrients like iron, calcium, and vitamins A, C, and K. But as with most things in life, there's a flip side to this seemingly perfect superfood. Spinach you see contains a high amount of a compound called oxalate. Now oxalates are naturally occurring substances found in a wide variety of foods and they're generally harmless in moderate amounts. However, when consumed in large quantities, they can lead to a condition known as hyperoxaluria, which is a key risk factor for kidney stone formation. Picture this, when there's too much oxalate in your system, the excess can combine with calcium to form crystals. These crystals can then accumulate forming what we commonly know as kidney stones. And if you've ever heard stories about the pain associated with passing kidney stones, you'll know it's something you'd rather avoid. Now this doesn't mean you should banish spinach from your diet entirely, not at all. The key, as with so many things, is moderation. It's about balancing your intake of high oxalate foods like spinach with other foods that are lower in oxalate. This way, you can still enjoy the nutritional benefits of spinach without overloading your body with oxalates. Additionally, pairing spinach with calcium-rich foods can also help. This is because the oxalate and calcium are more likely to bind together in the stomach and intestines before they get to the kidneys, making it less likely for kidney stones to form. But remember, everyone's body is different. What works for one person might not work for another. If you have a history of kidney stones or kidney disease, it's always a good idea to talk to your doctor or a dietitian before making any major changes to your diet. So, while spinach isn't inherently bad, it's something you might want to eat in moderation if you're concerned about your kidney health. Next up is beetroot, a vegetable praised for its numerous health benefits. This vibrant ruby red vegetable is a favorite among many for its sweet earthy flavor, not to mention its impressive nutritional profile. Rich in vitamins, minerals, and potent antioxidants, beetroot is often touted as a superfood, but like many good things, too much can lead to complications especially for our kidneys. Now you might be wondering, how can something so wholesome and nutritious possibly be harmful? Well the answer lies in the same compound we discussed earlier, oxalate. Beetroot, similar to spinach, is high in oxalates, which can be a problem for those susceptible to kidney stones. These tiny, hard deposits can accumulate in your kidneys when oxalates bind with certain minerals in your body to form crystals. And the more oxalates you consume, the higher the risk of these crystals forming. But before you banish beetroots from your diet for good, it's important to know that it's not the vegetable itself that's the problem, it's the way we consume it. Overindulging in beetroot or any high oxalate food for that matter, is where the trouble begins. While a small amount of oxalates is perfectly fine and can be excreted by our bodies with ease, a high intake can overload the kidneys, leading to the formation of kidney stones. So, what's the takeaway here? Balance is key. We're not suggesting you eliminate beetroot from your diet entirely, after all it's packed with health benefits. But if you're at risk of kidney stones, it might be worth reconsidering how much you're eating. Perhaps swapping out a beetroot salad for a lower oxalate option every now and then might be a good idea. Like spinach, beetroot isn't something you need to avoid completely, just something to consider if you're at risk of kidney stones. Moderation and balance, as with everything in life, are crucial. So, continue enjoying your veggies but be mindful of your choices. Our third vegetable is a staple in many diets, the humble potato. This versatile veggie is the star of countless dishes, from mash to fries to a comforting baked potato. But there's a side to this starchy staple you might not be aware of. Potatoes are high in potassium, a mineral that's essential to our bodies for nerve and muscle cell functioning. But like many things in life, it's all about balance. In healthy amounts, potassium is a friend, not a foe. 
It's when it tips over into excessive amounts that it can become a problem, especially for those with kidney issues. You see, when the kidneys are functioning properly, they regulate the level of potassium in our bodies, keeping it in check. But when they're not working as they should, potassium levels can rise, leading to a condition called hyperkalemia, which can cause heart rhythm problems and even heart failure. So, what's the solution? Should we ban potatoes from our diet? Well, not exactly. It's all about balance and portion control. A medium-sized potato contains approximately 420 milligrams of potassium. If you are on a low potassium diet due to kidney issues, you might need to limit your potato intake or opt for an alternative. And there are plenty of alternatives. Sweet potatoes, for instance, while still containing potassium, have less than a typical potato. Or how about trying a cauliflower mash instead of the traditional mashed potato? You'd be surprised at how delicious it can be. Moreover, how you prepare your potatoes can also make a difference. Boiling potatoes can reduce their potassium content by around half. So, if you can't resist that potato dish, consider boiling them first. But the key takeaway here is balance. It's not about completely eliminating foods from our diet, but rather being aware of what we're eating and how it can impact our health. After all, food is meant to nourish us, not harm us. Remember, it's all portion control when it comes to these high potassium foods. Tomatoes, a favorite in many dishes, are the fourth vegetable on our list. Now, tomatoes are quite the paradox. They are a powerhouse of vitamins, antioxidants, and fiber, but they also come with a high potassium content. This makes them a bit of a double-edged sword, particularly for those with kidney issues. Potassium plays a crucial role in our bodies, helping our muscles and nerves function properly. However, as we mentioned, when your kidneys aren't in their prime, too much potassium can lead to hyperkalemia. This can cause heart disease and other health issues. One medium-sized tomato contains about 292 milligrams of potassium. Now, consider a typical pasta sauce, which might contain more than three tomatoes per serving. The numbers add up quickly, don't they? But don't despair, tomato lovers. As we said, it's about portion control or smart swaps. If you love tomatoes but need to watch your potassium intake, there are alternatives you can consider. For instance, tangerines and apples are lower in potassium and can be used as substitutes in salads. A very interesting combination that you really need to try. For sauces, consider using bell peppers or carrots, which can provide a similar texture and natural sweetness without the high potassium content. Remember, it's not about demonizing certain vegetables, but understanding their nutritional content and how it affects our bodies. After all, our bodies are complex systems that require an understanding of certain processes to function optimally. Now, if you're a fan of tomato juice, you might want to consider other options. Cranberry juice, for instance, is lower in potassium and can be a refreshing alternative. So, what's the conclusion here? Tomatoes, while a delicious and nutritious part of many diets, can pose a challenge for those with kidney issues due to their high potassium content. But with a little creativity and a focus on balance, you can still enjoy a variety of flavors while keeping your potassium intake in check. Again, moderation is key, especially if you have existing kidney issues. Now, let's talk about avocados, a popular superfood. Avocados, with their creamy texture and distinctive flavor, have been hailed as a nutritional powerhouse, packed with a plethora of benefits. However, in certain conditions, it may turn into your kidney's enemy. Let's delve into why this fruit, yes, fruit, not a vegetable, might pose a challenge for some, especially those with kidney-related issues. Avocados are, like potatoes and tomatoes, high in potassium, an over-intake of which can cause health problems for people with poor kidney functioning. You see, the kidneys play a crucial role in maintaining the body's potassium balance. When the kidneys aren't functioning optimally, they may struggle to eliminate excess potassium from the body. However, a small serving of avocado, about a quarter of a medium fruit, contains a manageable amount of potassium and can be safely included in a kidney-friendly diet. It's also crucial to consider the overall dietary pattern. A balanced diet, rich in a variety of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains, can help to manage overall potassium levels effectively. Furthermore, if you have kidney issues, it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional who can provide personalized dietary advice based on your specific health needs. Remember, while avocados are packed with health benefits, they may not be the best choice for everyone. So enjoy your guacamole but always be mindful of portion sizes and your overall dietary intake. And finally we have Swiss chard, another leafy green. On the surface, Swiss chard may seem like a superfood, 
It's packed with nutrients like vitamins K, A, and C, as well as magnesium, potassium, iron, and dietary fiber. However, for those with kidney concerns, there's a hidden challenge lurking within these vibrant leaves. Oxalates. Similar to spinach and beetroot, Swiss chard is high in oxalates, a type of compound found naturally in many foods. While harmless for most people in some individuals particularly those with a predisposition to kidney stone formation, a diet high in oxalates can lead to the accumulation of calcium oxalate crystals, the most common type of kidney stone. Now you might be wondering, should I avoid Swiss chard altogether? Not necessarily. While it's true that Swiss chard contains oxalates, it's also a rich source of antioxidants and other healthful nutrients that can contribute positively to your overall well-being. So, if you enjoy Swiss chard, there's no need to cut it out of your diet completely. Instead, consider reducing your intake if you're at risk for kidney stones. For instance, you might opt to have Swiss chard no more than once a week. When you do eat it, pair it with foods rich in calcium, like dairy products or fortified plant-based alternatives. This can help bind the oxalates in the digestive tract, reducing their absorption into your body. Remember, everyone's body responds differently to foods. What works for one person may not work for another. So if you have kidney concerns, it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional before doing any experiments. And that brings us to the end of our list. Like the other vegetables we've discussed, Swiss chard can be part of a healthy diet but moderation is key for those with kidney concerns. So, eat mindfully and listen to your body, this is the secret of great health. So, there you have it, six vegetables that, while generally healthy, could potentially harm your kidneys. Let's take a moment to revisit what we've learned. Spinach, beetroot, and Swiss chard while packed with nutrients, can lead to kidney stone formation due to its high oxalate content. Potatoes, tomatoes, and avocados despite being a superfood, are also high in potassium which may be harmful to individuals with kidney problems. But it's crucial to remember that these vegetables aren't inherently bad. They all have their own set of health benefits, and are essential parts of a balanced diet. The key is moderation. Consuming these vegetables in controlled amounts, while ensuring a varied intake of other foods, can help you maintain a healthy diet without stressing your kidneys. Bear in mind, everyone's dietary needs are different. What works for one person might not work for another. It's always advisable to consult with a healthcare professional or a dietitian before making significant changes to your diet, especially if you have pre-existing health conditions. In conclusion, staying healthy is about understanding your body processes, knowing how different foods can affect you, and making informed choices. By doing so, you can enjoy a wide variety of foods, while also taking care of your health. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video. Stay healthy, stay with Heal Zone.